1077 and today we are doing Transformers 5 Optimus Prime so really nice figure uh, 30 to 40 bucks he's probably worth it if you want to know the truth you can look right there that's where his shield goes um, beauty head sculpt Um, and right about, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but right there, if you can see it now, see that hole, the sword, he comes with, stores in that hole, there's the sword, um, so yeah, we will give him a comparison with Grimlock right there no not bad he, he's a inch or a half bigger but anyways um yeah so Lucas can you have to try to stop that I'm doing a YouTube video I know it hurts so yeah that's just my brother. He just slipped and fell and hit his tooth. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, other than that, he can hold his sword with both hands. He can hold it like this. And you can put the blade facing down if you want to. So, yeah. Other than that, not bad. Um, not bad at all. So, yeah, um, uh, so for another size, we can take Berserker, let's see, see how that tails, probably about right, now we can take Bumblebee, and show you how he scales, alright, so yeah, um, he does have a shield, I'll just take it out of this thing right now, um, I have to grab it first, shoot, should have had this ready, baby, put that back on your mouth, okay, right there, okay, um, it does store on his hand, it stores on either, just by that little peg hole. Oh, so yeah, yeah, rock and roll. Let's get into our articulation, shall we, let's. So, he can do, he can put his arms straight out. He can make them do a slight bit more the, than a 90 degrees bend. Legs can go way more than a 90 degree span. So, comments if you think that's a 140 degree span. So, um, yeah, uh, knees bend that far back, that's it. That's a little bit less than I wanted, but, yeah. Um, waist on a swivel, do the transformation. So, yeah. Uh, there we have that, and let's go to his, and his head is on a ball joint, it can do a full 360, but with the collar there, not really. Let's pop this off, we will get into transformation, so I like to, uh, we can do it either way. Let's start from the top this time. Comment with Grimlock. Comment if you think I should do it bottom to top for Grimlock. So, what you gotta do... Oh, I did that too soon. Sorry. <laughs> so, gotta pull this, like, thing off. Down, straight down. Just pull it down till you hear it snap. And then maybe push it up just a little bit. So that it looks just like that. So now you want to go and see that little holder. 
dig your nail into it and pull out. Then you grab the side. Yeah, just flip it down. Then take the head, flip that down, pull the arms out, um, and plug that in. So, yeah. And now what you have to do, it's kind of strange for this robot mode. Oh, damn. Sorry, this has happened so many times when I do this because my stand, so... If you know where to get a stand, show that in the comments, please. So, what you have to do with this is you have to go like this and wobble it out, and it forms the top of the hood. Strange, right? So do that with this side. And second verse, and it's first. Pull the arm out. Flip those shoulder pads down. Keep the arm bent, then grab it from both sides, just like that. And wiggle, and put it all. You'll hear it untouch. And now, what you want to do is you see those two circles. You want them to align perfectly when you get that done. And once you got that done, there you have that. So once you have that, you can do that. And then there's your front of your cab, pretty much. Now you want to go to the leg. So first thing you do with the leg is you will take the foot, no, take this, so take this and just pull on it. And there's a little slot right there that goes into that little thing right there. Then you want to just, see this, you want to just push that down with your thumb, and then just that slot right there, goes into that right there. So, there we have that. Then what you want to do is grab the foot right there and just pull and you'll, it'll untach. Now you want to grab this leg right, right there and just flip it up. That forms the top part of the hitch. Now that you have that, yay, we have that. Second verse, same as the first. Pull that side out, which is already done for me. Push down on that. Uh, um, grab the, this by the heel again, and pull it right out. That one you have to pull a little bit more. Then grab this again, and flip it all the way up. Then you want to spin them so the kneecaps are facing towards each other, so they're facing in, not out. And once you have that, then you just peg those together, you'll see the pegs. And there's one on the hitch and one on the very end. And they just peg right in. So, damn. <laughs> so now you want to do that. Now that you have that done, you want to take it. And you want to, oh, damn, too soon. You want to grab this piece, pull it up. It's on a double hinge. Then you want to grab this piece, pull it out, this piece right here. Grab it, pull it out, and flip it up. Grab it, pull it up, flip it out. So now you want to spin it around, just like that. Um, flip that up like that. Uh, so yeah, there we have that. And once that's done, then you have your back torso of the truck done. So now, when you see this foot, you want to spin it all the way around so that there's the blue notch right there. Hooks up, it goes right beside in a line with this black step. And once you've done that, push down on the foot, pegs in right there. With that peg, like there's a peg on the foot. Um, and once you have that, then you want to take the same thing with this. And what you want to do is you want to spin it around, and there's a red peg on this. Right there, you want that to line up with the step. And once you have that, oh damn, once you have that, you might want to take those and put, plug them back together because they might have came undone already. So, but damn, why does this have to me? Um, like I said, please comment on where to get a stand. Please.
Um, so now that we have that, I won't just be doing Transformer reviews. There'll be skate park reviews. There'll be all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Then what you want to do? Oh, I skipped ahead. I do this all the time. So once you have that done, you want to pull on this, and there's that there's a pig right there, right by my nail. See it? It's not really. But it's right by my nail. It goes into that slot right on there. You can see that. Now you can see the slot. And then those two will plug in. And then flip this up like that. Like so. And once you have that, kaboom! Then there's a slot on this hood. Clips into the top of the hood. Kind of weird. So, second verse, same as the first. Flip that down. Plug it in. Spin this around. Pop that in. And then you will. Second verse, same as the first. And now you'll see this right there. You saw that at the beginning. That peg right there. We'll go into that peg right there. And then push them tight together. Align the circles. And. There you go. Now you really have not much more to do. So there you have him where you can sit him down. Just like that. Oh, God. Oh, my camera, dude. Now that you have him sitting down, I will. Once you have that sit it down, you will see this peg right there. And there's this peg right there on the door. You will fold the door all the way out. And that peg will go into that peg, making the door. So you can see that. Second verse, same as the first. But you see, oh dang. So now you see that peg right there. No, there's a peg on here that goes into that. So again, second verse, same as the first. Do what you're supposed to do. Uh, once you've done what you're supposed to do, if you did do what you're supposed to do, like you're supposed to do, we're going to take that, and there's a peg there, if you can see, and a peg there, and two holes on the top of the hood. And those just peg into that. So, once you've done that, it will sit flush. Then, oh, damn. Okay. Um... And then put that down. Dang. Put put the put the put it down. Ah! Oh my gosh! So annoying. Gosh. Why will this not plug in? Almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then once you've got that plugged in, it should do that. And there you go. Uh. Yeah. There we have that. Dang. Rolls as rolling thing should. So yeah, now you can take his shield and you can put it on the hitch. And his sword stores underneath like this. See, that stores there and it still rolls good. Um, if you do have this, I do recommend using it. Um, it does make it look pretty sweet. If you have the Transformers 3 Deluxe Class Voyager trailer, or no, Deluxe Voy Deluxe Class trailer, from Dark of the Moon, this hitch right there 
is the exact right size for it. So now, if I do this, and I can take, first I'm going to do some comparisons. So I can take B, 